19. Hey, I'm about the closest thing to a overnight bag. I'm about the closest thing to a uh, local driver you're going to see, but I'm regional. Just grab me two vitamin waters. Shop and go down in North Carolina. Truck stop empty now. Little mom and pop. Come through here at nighttime, boy. This thing will be packed. You parking way down there on that grass over there. You see all those all them them vehicles over there? All those vehicles. That's a uh, Roadmaster Driving School. That's where the students park at. New Line Transport. See a lot of them guys down there in Wilmington too. Got a Qualcomm message. Continue to do your pre and post trip inspections. Remember pre trip is 15 minutes, no less. And post trip should be five minutes or more. Must be done while logged on duty, not off duty. Be sure to check that trailer too. Don't drop a trailer that needs work. Get the trailer fixed before dropping. Yada, 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 yada. One Shipyard Boulevard, Wilmington, North Carolina. That's where I'm about to head right now. I already started my clock before I walked inside the store. Certified from last night. We got four minutes on duty. Now I'm about to get out, do a walk around, check my oil, check my coolant, stuff like that. Hey, as many times as I said it, I never mind saying it again, because somebody always asked, what kind of GPS is that? Ram McNally TND80. Put the address in. Shipyard Boulevard. Let's see how far we got to go. Hour 58 minutes. Let's get to it, baby. Let's get to it. I got to make a quick stop down the street. Pilot, so I can get some fuel. I was trying to debate. I was just debating which drive, which drive through I was gonna use. I'm gonna use this one. Either way, I gotta cross over to the other side of the highway to get my trailer around this light pole. Get my trailer around the light pole. Now we're good. Quick stop at the pilot. About two miles away. <coughs> Excuse me. Hey, rewind it a little bit. And look at that domino, that domino sign again. It said, now, now hiring delivery drivers. If anybody... They ain't got their CDL quite yet, they need a job. Domino's is hiring delivery drivers. All right, all right now, car, you see me coming. You see me coming.
straight ahead, baby. I'll tell y'all a trick. I don't know if it's illegal, but I'll tell you about a trick that sometimes I do. All right, you know the truck stop I was just that. You know how I was just saying, pre-trip, supposed to be 15 minutes or whatever. Some Sometimes I leave early in the morning, like three, four o'clock in the morning. It's dark outside, can't see nothing. I need fuel, I need coffee, I don't make it at home. So sometimes I just drive straight to this other truck stop where I'm about to go now and I um, do my pre-trip when I get there. Hey, if anybody ever asks, I'm gonna say, hey, I, could, I can't see, it's dark. Ain't no lights out there. No lights in that truck stop, and, and it's and it's a dirt lot. So when it's when it rains, like it, like it's been during the past two three days, it be a lot of mud out there. I don't want to track all that mud in my truck. So sometimes I drive straight down the road where I'm going. And guess what? Sometimes I catch all the green lights. It's about one two. One, two, three, four, five, six lights in between that truck stop and the pilot. This is the fifth one I'm coming up on right now. You look to my right, you'll see the North Carolina license plate agency. You see all those people standing outside waiting in line to get their get their new registration and all that. North Carolina. If you stop at that pilot on S75, you come straight in town, you'll go straight to where my truck is at. If anybody ever looking for me, if you ever in the area, and guess what? That shop and go where I was just at, that's the name of it, shop and go. It's an Exxon. They actually sell fried chicken and fried pork chop and hot dogs during lunch. A lot of truckers stop there. You got food line distribution. You got some place that sells fertilizer right across the street. I've actually picked up a load from there before, twice. And then you got uh, all the employees that work at food line warehouse. They go there for lunch. Then you got Domino's right there. Everybody wanna go to Domino's. Water off my all oh, this water y'all see dripping. That's that uh that frost from last night. Ain't nothing but a G thing, baby. Still riding in the PNS crazy. PNS be the truck in that level that pays me. Cause I'm the snowman, I ain't lazy. You see this abandoned gas station to my right. It's an abandoned gas station, but it's actually a speed trap. Because the police, they go out there and park in between the pumps. Late at night, when the lights off. And you can't see them. Cut through, cut through here slipping if you want to. Don't do it. They'll get you. Don't do it. Guess what, gang? We're almost there. That place right there on my right, that's a bingo place. Open on Sunday. They be packed. Old folks playing bingo. I ain't got time to waste playing bingo. I ain't got time sitting there for three, four hours. Hey, but, but I heard, I heard you can win some money though. If you win, you can win some big money. Let me slide over for this pedestrian. Hit nobody early in the morning. Almost there. We're getting warm. Here we go, baby. Saddlers. It's called Saddlers, I think. Saddlers truck stop. But they got pilot fuel. Let me get up here and get some fuel real quick. Boy, your boy runs out. All 
right cars, what y'all doing coming out the truck exit or the truck entrance? Man, I gotta wait. Oh, you guys, hurry up. Looks like the one on the end is open. No, it ain't. It's a dry van down there. Doggone dry vans. Man. Oh, there we go. I see brake lights. There we go. Dry van game. Get that thing on out of the way. So your boy can fill up. Serving community water needs. There it is. It's the pilot right here. Pilot Travel Center. Exit 75, Dunn, North Carolina. Hey, if y'all wondering why I came home empty yesterday, as you can see, I'm empty. If y'all didn't already know that. If y'all wondering why I came home empty, I had some stuff I had to attend to. So I came home empty. Handle some business. I had to get done before 5 o'clock. That's one thing I love about PNS, especially if you're a lease driver. What's up to you? You want dead head home? What's up to you? I mean, of course you ain't gonna make no money, but you gotta outweigh, you gotta weigh your options. Good, bad, good, bad. It's bad, no load, dead head home. But, you know, I didn't get to get home last week. I didn't get home till Saturday. So I had to handle some stuff. And so, uh, hey, it is what it is. It is what it is. It's all right. I did six loads last week. <laughs> I did six loads last week. Ain't no biggie. So that six loads from last week, basically bring it back up to five for this week. And that's usually what I do, like, I usually do like five loads a week. Six, if I can pick up something, drop it off the same day, go pick up another load. So, it's all good. No biggie. Ain't nothing like a death pump. Well, a death hose that'll hold itself in there. You win it. You ever run across one of them? Hey, whoever made this death hose, it's the damn devil. <laughs> Out of here, baby. Let's get to Wimbledon. This extra lease truck. I seen when that other when that other driver had pulled out in front of me. He over here trying to get his tandems right. That's what he doing. He take that motherfucker somewhere else. All right, gang, we out, baby, we out. About to get this thing on down the road. Another guy checking his tablets. I had to slide my arm. Um, I had to slide my fifth wheel. Probably about, probably about a month ago. I went through a weight station in Virginia. I ain't slid my fifth wheel in two years. I went to a weight station in Virginia about a month ago on 95. And I, I was uh, 900 pounds over on my, uh, on my drives. They told me to pull around back, slide, slide my axles. I ain't slide my axles, I slid my fifth wheel. I, I picked up a preloaded trailer of sheetrock. The same stuff I always haul. That's why I was like, man, I do this all the time. This is the first time they hit me with that. But I had to pull around back, slide my fifth wheel. I slid it forward like two clicks. And after I came back around, reweighed, and I was good to go. Shout out my buddy Kelsey. Kelsey Stevens, he over here at PNS too. I couldn't, I couldn't get the thing to slide, man. I, was, I couldn't get it to slide. I had to call my buddy, get some pointers. 
Well, he walked me, he walked me through it, got over the phone. Say, hey, shot up a dog, kill him. Two months. Oh, I got to reset the badge. Man. Oh, it must have been a year. Been a year since uh been a year already. I gotta get my damn badge reset. Not the Twit card. This is North Carolina ports. They give you uh you got like a North Carolina badge. Dang. I was just about to say I, I was trying to get here before lunch. Now, I know I'm definitely going to be here now to after lunch. That's a CR England pulling a container right there in front of me. If y'all didn't see it. CR England pulling a container.
It don't work. Thank you. First rodeo, if y'all ain't knew. <laughs> That's how I knew exactly where to go. It's the North Carolina Port Authority office right here. Put my mask on to go inside. That's a twit card. That expires 2024, October 12th. This right here is the North Carolina Port. Oh yeah, I see. It was issue 1231, 2019. Yeah, it expired. Port ID office right here. <laughs> Guess what? As soon as I walked in the office, the guy was like, Dion? I was like, how you know my name? He was like, yeah, you just came up in the system. <laughs> I was like, wow. But anyway, he reactivated it. Let's try it again. Let's try it again. Let's try it again. Yeah, I thought I was gonna have to go through the whole process. When you first get one of these uh, port badges, you gotta, you gotta take a, uh, and I actually made a video on that a long time ago. You gotta like, uh, they give you like a book or something. You gotta read the book, answer a few questions. Then you gotta take a picture. All he did was just, uh, I, th and I think you gotta pay like $25. All he did was uh, ask me a couple questions, verify my address, phone number, date of birth. You know, just a little basic stuff. It ain't take too long. Let's try it again. Another CR England. One CR England. Two CR England. That's another one. Yeah. 
Yeah, see our England pool containers. I didn't know that. It's probably like a special dedicated account. Yeah, see our England good for something. I know I used to work at Smithfield Packing in uh, Clinton, North Carolina. They actually got a CR England uh, dedicated hub right across the street from them. Those guys home every night. Local drivers. They, they run what, uh, what they call the Smithfield Dedicated. Yeah. All these containers out here. Lived, if I still lived in Wilmington, hey, hey, containers probably wouldn't be a bad job. Cold storage. You see those guys coming up out of there. They be wearing those um, those big freezer suits. You see them coming out sometimes. You see them coming out smoking cigarettes and all that. That's lumber right there to my left. I got loaded over there before. I think I'm picking up lumber. Really not sure. My DM said lumber. When I was reading the load notes, I'm saying something about food containers. I'm not sure what I'm getting. I don't know. Cargo Control Center, to the left. To the left, to the left. Everything you own in the box to the left. That's for you, Ladybug Trucker. Ladybug Trucker, that's for you. Little, listen to some little motivation. Everything you own in the box to the left. Uh oh, watch out for that piece of plywood on the ground. My buddy Tia, she ran over a piece of plywood last week. Got caught up in a brake chamber. She was on the highway down there in Myrtle Beach. Not sure how it, how it happened, but it happened. She ran it over, was in the road, she ran it over, got caught in the brake chamber. Messed up the trailer. I'll tell you what, that, 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 uh, that guard jockey right there, that's a messed up trailer he got. Got holes in it. That trailer get rejected, some shippers. They don't they got no license plate on it. Must be like a uh, something they use around the yard or whatever. I tell you what, that tanker better not try to pull out. I see him creeping. They're not trying to pull out. Hey, speed limit 20 miles per hour. Y'all ever come if y'all ever come to this port, don't come through here speeding. But they, they do have police out here. They like to hide with a radar gun. They usually be sitting right up here in this area. Yeah, they be up here with a radar gun, clocking. Oh, look, 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 look what I tell you. What I tell you. That's an old mark right here. <laughs> what I tell you. I say that they're smoking cigarettes. I know where the police sit at. They sit right over there. They got another office right there. I'm not sure which one I'm going to, but I'm going to go to the one on the left. There's another PNS driver's at. Actually, NST, National Strategic Transport. Guess what? 
I had to wait till after lunch. I always get some weird stuff out of the port. So this is what I got. This ain't no damn lumber. Food grade something, food grade something. Food grade containers, nothing but some steel. Four straps on the back, three in the front. About to put the edge protectors on. I ain't gonna lie, <laughs> I debated. I debated in my head if I was gonna use edge protectors or not. I said, might as well. What hurt? What hurt to use some edge protectors? It's not that sharp, but it's still steel. I ain't want to take the chance. Guess what? Only gonna use, only gonna use one top. Cape Fear River right there. Runs all the way down to Carolina Beach. There we go, gang. Another superb tarp job. But I'll let y'all be the judge of that. How y'all like it? One tarp. All right, let's head to Georgia. 